content is not just the key. Like there's, it's like a whole body. Content might be just the arms, but what is the head? The head might be the product, right? So if the head's not right, the whole body's not gonna work, right? So, so we have to make sure that everything's congruent, everything's is 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 harmonious, right? Content is just part of the equation. It's not the equation. Welcome, fellow entrepreneurs, to the Amazon Sellers School Podcast, where we talk about Amazon and how you can use it to build an e-commerce empire, a side hustle and anything in between. And now, your host, Todd Welch. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Amazon Seller School. I've got my friend Rafael Velas on the screen there doing some uh, balloons <laughs> effects. That's funny. Uh, but I appreciate you guys joining us for this episode. This is going to be a fun one. We're diving into creating successful video ads for effective Amazon PPC campaigns, which is not something I believe we've touched on in the past. We've done a lot with PPC, of course, uh, but not necessarily so much with video ads. So I'm looking forward to this. And uh, Raphael is a three-time Kelly Award winning entrepreneur, and he's actually made commercials and feature films for some really big brands that you guys probably know out there, Nickelodeon, CNN, Red Bull, uh, Telemundo, and Viacom. Um, so some big players there. But in 2018, he founded Share It Studio, which is an Amazon marketing agency. And since then, he's helped optimize over a thousand Amazon's listings with an average sales increase of 77% in the first month. So he definitely knows what he's talking about. I'm looking forward to, to diving into this topic for sure. So with that, Raphael, I appreciate you coming on the show. Thank you so much for having me, Todd. I appreciate it, man. I got, I got a, I got a, a surprise guest right here. As you can see, <laughs> I'm in a we work. I'm in a we work. Um, co-working space so you'll see people in the background hopefully my audio will be good i'll try to speak a little bit louder so the noise to to audio ratio is good my name is Rafael on the founder share studio thank you so much for for watching these guys i truly truly appreciate it um do you want me to start or do you want to say something else before we begin yeah let's go ahead and and dive into it uh but real quick have you ever sold on amazon yourself or you primarily help other people so I've sold on Amazon as well. I sold candies, um, chocolates to be specific, um, mostly chocolate, but not, not all chocolates. Um, it didn't go well because in the summer season, as you know, Amazon changes its policies a lot. And then suddenly they're like, you know what? We're not taking anything more. Uh, so you have to ship it yourself because it melts. So anything that melts over a percent degree is just bad for business. Um, and the idea for this was to build a brand, not just to sell, but to build a brand so you can flip it. Um, so I stopped doing that right now. We're in the works of selling another type of, of product. Can't say right now, but uh, this is, uh, I'm going to buy into, into a existing brand is a, in the shoe category. Um, they're, they're making around a hundred K a month right now. So we want to increase that to a million. Um, so I'm buying into that brand. Um, I love selling Amazon. I try not to work with, with, um, with, customers who are selling the same thing that I want to sell because of that respect, but I don't shy myself away from it either way. But yes, I love selling Amazon. Uh, it's a thrill, honestly. It, it is it is a way to get out of that rat race because I was in that rat race in Nickelodeon. I was working, I wasn't working nine to six. I was working more like eight to like 10 PM. <laughs> but, 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 um, <laughs> so, so I, I think you can, I think we can relate. Um, I think a lot of the listeners and the viewers can relate as well. So it's, a def, it's definitely a way to to get, skip that rat race. Not skip, get out, evolve. You know, provide for your family, for yourself. So yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's uh, it's definitely nice to be able to set your own schedule, but then at the same time, you have to set your own schedule, which can be hard if you're not disciplined to do it and get things done. Well, let's go ahead and dive into it. Um, and just so everybody knows, if you're just listening on the podcast, 
Uh, he's going to have some slides here, but we're going to do our best to explain everything in detail so you can follow along. But if you want, jump over to YouTube and check out the slides there. Yeah, I would actually recommend um, do watching this on YouTube. Because it's, it, I mean, I'm talking about visual content, obviously, so there's got to be a lot of visual content here. Um, but my main goal here is not to make you into a filmmaker, into a photographer, into, into, a, um, into a graphic designer. My job here, my, my goal here is to give you enough information that you as a CEO CEO makes the right decision in terms of content, which company you should be hiring, what you should be looking for, what you should be looking for in terms of what's hopefully going to drive more impression, which is people seeing your, your, your content, more traffic, which is the click through rate, meaning people click and go to your listing. And on top of that, obviously what everybody wants, making more money, increasing that, that conversion. Okay, so let's jump in really quick. I'm a, I know we have, a, I think it's like 40 minutes, um, so I'm going to be as fast as possible, but as effective at the same time because we're already six minutes in. All right, so guys, a little bit about Share Studio. This is what we do. If I have to pick something from here, it would be that we worked over more than a thousand projects already. We have pretty, pretty big clients that are making millions and millions of dollars a year and also clients who are starting out and if they're getting very successful with us as well. Um, my team is, com is composed of 20 amazing individuals for Share Studio. I have other companies as well, but for, Sh for Share Studio, Studio is 20 amazing individuals. A little bit about me. I went to film school. I actually went to law school. I don't know if I told you this, Todd, but I actually went to law school back home in Venezuela in 2000. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I did. I did three years of law school. My dad's a lawyer, so I got out. Of, I got out of. Um, I got out of, of high school, and he's like, "I want to be a rapper. I want to be a musician." My dad was like. Brother, I'm not. I'm, I'm not gonna support you. I'm not gonna financially support you the rest of your life. So you better do something good. <laughs> so I was like, <laughs> what can I do? He's like, go to law school. I did well. You should do well as well. So I went to law school. I hated it, honestly. Uh, I learned a lot, um, but I, I didn't like it. So I started doing music videos. This is my first music video, actually. I did in 2009. I did a, a 2D deal music video with this um, Christian. Um, um, music label and then in 20 2010 i signed up for film school and then the rest is history in 2012 i got into marketing i did a lot of cool stuff i, I moved to new york i struggled i lived the dream and then um i ended up working in nickelodeon in 2017 and there's where i got my first break into amazon and the rest is history uh that's how i fell in love with amazon yeah i mean i, mean, I can just imagine if you're if you're a highly creative person uh, trying to be an attorney or going to school to be an attorney had to be very difficult and painful it, it was it was I learned a lot though um it's, it has helped me tremendously in business especially drafting documents and, and making and closing deals can't complain so you know there's, there's a reason for everything in life. Yeah, yeah. Always be learning. So it's, it's, it's good to learn things even if you're not great at them or don't enjoy them. If you at least know how things work, it can go a long way. That's it. That's how it is. All right, guys. So in uh, Share Studio, we focus mainly on creating content, but content that's with purpose, meaning that are you do you want to drive more impressions? Do you want to get more impressions? So are you looking more for advertising? Uh, do you want to uh, increase the click-through rate? Are you looking more for videos, PPC ads that are going to get you to, to click on that and find out more about the product? Do you have that nailed down, but your conversions are not the best? Um, so even though we only do content, we are also knowledgeable around other areas that affect the content because the content is not just the key. Like there's, It's like a whole body. Content might be just the arms, but what is the head? The head might be the product, right? So if the head's not right, the whole body's not going to work, right? So so we have to make sure that everything's congruent, everything is, is, is harmonious, right? Content is just part of the equation. It's not the equation. But we create content based on the data that we get. So it's data-driven content. We do listing images, brand story, premium plus content, basic plus content, storefronts. We also do titles and bullet points in English and in Spanish. Spanish is very is, is a great forte for us because um, I am from Venezuela. I am from a Spanish-speaking country. My whole team is from a Spanish-speaking country. And um, every time we optimize for keywords in Spanish, we make sure that they are culturally relevant keywords. So, for example, as I don't know if you know, but Latin America is a very big place. There's so many different cultures. We might speak the same language sometimes, but other times it's actually very different. Um, so, for example, 
Um, it's not the same way to say avocado in Venezuela or in Mexico than to say avocado in Chile, okay? So that's, that's like a little thing. On top of that, there are more than 50 million people in the U.S. that speak Spanish. And on top of that, that's not being counted. A lot of people from Latin America actually buy on Amazon.com, ship it to their warehouse, and their warehouse ships it to the back to, to their home country. So it's more than it's it's a lot of people buying and looking for keywords in Spanish. So be careful with that. We do Amazon Post, we do package, label design, and branding. So anything that has to do with visual content. And the most fun part for me, because I'm a filmmaker, is that we create Con videos. The type of videos we create, it's gonna depend on the placement of that video. This is very important that you that you get this. One video shouldn't be made for everything. What I mean by that? Imagine that you're looking at a infomercial, and that infomercial is made like it was a Super Bowl commercial. Most likely, you won't get caught on to that. Let's look at. Let's imagine the inverse. Super Bowl halftime. You look at an infomercial. First of all, it's impossible because it's got to be too expensive. And second of all, most likely it's not going to drive that amount of traffic. Okay. Why? Because the placement and the, the moment of the person that's looking at the video is very, very important. So for example, PPC videos, PPC videos should be fast. Oh, I went up. Should be fast. Okay. It should be fast, but it should also be likable. Like you want to click on them. You want to find out more. Listing videos are to drive that conversion. You have to tell more about the brand. Is it soft to touch? What is it made out of? Um, do you feel comfortable with it? What What are are all those questions that people are asking through the comments, through the through the reviews that you want to answer? Sponsored TV ads are that you know obviously commercials for the sponsored um, ads that Amazon start rolling not too long ago and then obviously we got social media videos TikTok videos in general these are really cool they should be fast they should be engaging they should be, be able to drive traffic to your listing so why up towards your listing guys Amazon is a place where Amazon drives the traffic to the need of that customer so for example if somebody's needing a toothpick and they don't have toothpick at home because a party's coming most likely they'll look for toothpicks right so that's a keyword they have a search buying intent meaning that they're looking to buy something they're not they are not in an awareness stage meaning that they're looking and they're like oh they found this no they already want to buy something so they go and they look for a toothpick and that toothpick now you're if you're selling toothpick now you're competing against a other bunch of other toothpicks okay so why optimize your content? Well, because you're fighting for that click. You're fighting for that attention. So for example, this is a brand that we uh, recently worked with. We got them from 500, 400, 500 plus a month to over $800,000 within a couple of months. Okay, literally like three months. As you can see, we, we're trying to tell as much more, as much more of a story here. We're telling, hey, you with this bottle, you can clean up to 100 pair of shoes. But we're not just telling it with just text. We're also showing, like we're, we're trying to make it as as likable as possible as entertaining as possible because at the end of the day people like to be entertained so the better you can give service the better people are going to treat you okay so let's suppose you sell a product and it's 15 dollars uh, a pop okay and you receive 100 sessions a day and your conversion is two percent okay what would happen if your conversion is three percent just one percent extra along the lines okay meaning that in 25 days that conversion, that just one percentage, could be a $450 difference. Imagine that instead of being, you know, instead, imagine that instead of being, I don't know, that amount of, of conversion, maybe it's twice as more. That, then there'll be 900 and so on and so forth. So even 0.05%, it's a lot, a lot of money. So make sure that you're looking into it. A year, it's, over, it's more than $5,000. That's a lot of money. And we're just looking at something very simple. Yeah. Yeah. You really want to focus on your, well, your click-through rate first, right? And then make sure you're converting on those clicks. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure that you talked about this before, but if nobody sees your listing, obviously you're not going to get any clicks, right? Because if nobody's seeing it, how can somebody click on it? It's logical. So we have to make sure that also their PPC game is on spot. So it's like I said in the beginning, like it has to be congruent. Like everything has to be harmonious. Like if your PPC strategy is off, it doesn't matter what your content is. They're not going to get any, any clicks or any, or any uh, buys. If you're selling toothpicks and you're advertising for a, I don't know, for some, something completely different, right? So make sure that your PPC game is all, also like up to date and it's good.
So this listing, for example, this is a, a perfect case where this client was selling a bunch and they had everything in place that Amazon says they need. They had a wide background image. They had a lifestyle image. They had, a, they had an image of product in use. Um, and they also had a before and after. So they had like the whole, you know, they, they have everything that's required, minimum requirement of Amazon. And they were selling not that bad. They were selling uh, $571,000 a month. And when we, uh, we connected with them, like, why should we do anything? Like, where are we making half a million dollars a month? I'm like, it's not how much you're making. It's how much you're losing. Like, your competitors are making a bunch of more, like m way more money than you are. What are you leaving on the table just because not investing? Well, this brand can because they're making half a million dollars a month. What are you not doing by not investing 30K into it? See what happens, you know? That, that content is going to last you for a long, long time. So we went from this to this and it increased sales drastically. This brand already broke 800K um, overall in revenue. This is uh, a couple of months ago already. So yeah. That's what you should optimize. So we went from this. If you go back to that, I like in your main image there that you you actually added one of the dirty shoes. So it really calls out what it is, what's it for. Yeah. So the idea is here is to showcase like, hey, you can go from this to this. We actually did so many testing with these images. Um, so yeah, so these are the numbers. It went from 316 to 398 and from 87K to 208K. This is the parent ASIN. This is the child ASIN. Very nice. And what kind of time frame was that? Honestly, within the first month, they already saw a spike in the sales increase uh, because we went from a return ad spend, a ROAS of 2.22 average to almost three average, like literally within a week. That was just from updating the images. Yeah, they were ranking almost number one, number two already. They were ranking really, really good. Well, they had a... The ranking was good, but the traffic was being redirected to their competition because the competition had amazing visuals. Even though they were they were in the game way longer, the competition was just better at marketing. And let's let's take into I don't know, like uh, let's use something that's a little bit disruptive. Let's say Apple and Microsoft, right? Microsoft was way bigger than Apple. What happened? Steve Jobs came in with this amazing marketing strategy, just like buy you know that's why apple's one of the biggest companies in the world right now marketing just marketing um for example i have an iphone but my mom has a samsung and the feature she has are way better than the apples a lot of times um it's just uh, literally when i hold the phones so i'm like wow this is actually a little bit better but truthful i'm, f I'm faithful and, 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 and i'm loyal to apple so here i am using a mac and using a, an, an iphone all right let's go back the other thing that I like on those images, uh, if you go back to the images of the shoes, I, I really like the second one on the top there where you show all the different fabrics of shoes in one image so people can really quickly know if that it's going to work for their shoe. I think that's really important too because I might have a leather shoe and you show a picture of a suede shoe and I'm like, well, I don't know if it's going to work for my leather. So I'm going to jump over to this other one that shows the leather shoe. So that's really important as well. Correct. So the idea here is to make sure you're telling the story with little words or little time as possible for with with the amount with a type of content that requires a less amount of brain power as possible to understand the product meaning because of this little guy right here that's literally our third arm now i'm talking about the phone for you for you that are listening right um we don't leave the house without this and if you do leave the house most likely you're gonna go back and get it so because of this our attention span has gone like just like super quick so people just want to get that information as fast as possible they want the podcast to be as as fast as possible they want to learn as fast as possible they want to do everything as fast as possible because we're just overwhelmed with information day by day day by day so what we try to do is try to tell the story as fast as possible and if you see like if you're listening to, if you're listening um we actually designed the shoe that it's a shoe made of different types of shoes. And then the background of that, of that image, you have an enlargement or close detail of the actual fabric that it, it works with that shoe. So you can see the whole thing within just one image. We can answer four questions in one image that it, it, it works where it's safe to use. Okay, safe, keyword, safe for all washable fabrics. Suede, leather, nut buck, and mesh. So yes, we have to tell the story as fast as possible. All right, so today let's focus on listing images. And we're going to focus also on premium A plus content. I love premium A plus content and also videos. I'm going to try to go as fast as possible. My team gave me a bunch of slides, 
But if we need a part two, we'll make a part two if Todd wants, if we don't run out of time. All right, let's go. So things you should be have clear before creating a content optimize your listing. I'm reading it because of the of the listeners, not just because of the view, viewers. So your unique selling proposition is something that you have to you need to have clear. A desire, a result desire, meaning that what problem are you gonna solve? What problem are they gonna solve to buy the, your product? And the technical features that your customers value the most. So it does it is going to depend on the type of product that you're selling, but most likely they have a problem. And you have to answer that problem. That's it, the question to that problem. Pretty straightforward. So what you can do is product features. So for example, in this image, you can see that it's one design, right? One photo, but it's actually one, two, three, four, five photos in one complete design. So when you're looking at, at images, make sure that you're not overwhelming the, the, the buyer, but also you're telling the most effective story as possible. And it's something that's comfortable to look at. And you also have a visual hierarchy. Okay, so for example, I'm telling the customer here, hey, you have you can have a cover and also the foam in the background with the gel. You have a uh, concave center. You have and all these other stuff that you see here. Example is this, and another example is this little camera that we did. Okay, so you can see all the little icons here, right? Live life safely. So this is very important because this is visual hierarchy. People are reading from left to right, top to bottom, right? So this is an emotional an emotional keyword for them. Live life safely. Why? Because it's a camera. Most likely they're buying it to make sure that you're protecting a loved one or you're keeping track of who's going to your home or something. Something that's regards to safety. So we're enticing that safety feature, okay? Okay, cool. Customer benefits. Consider the benefits you your product provides to the customers. Again, for example, this right here. It's a photo of a woman holding a leash that is, on top, that is holding a harness with a Pomeranian dog. If you're listening to this, Stop, go to the computer. You have to see this little cute dog. It's a Pomeranian. <laughs> um, and it's, uh, so it's been, it's been held by the leash. And then what, what, she, what does she want? She wants to improve walking experience. She wants better control and stability and comfortable. Very, very important. Comfortable and secure fit. Yep. And I think one important thing there too is that she's looking at the camera and smiling. Yeah. So, so in the, as you can see, a lot of the viewers, sorry, not a lot of viewers, a lot of the models uh, show some sort of emotion. So, for example, this one right here, even if it's a sauna, she's pleased. Why is she pleased? Well, maybe because she's not feeling discomfort. Maybe she's reaching her goals. So every time that we are taking an image, we think of enticing or, or, or evoking an emotion. Okay? Humans are very emotional beings. That's what, that's what a lot of things make it different from from other animals that we're very emotional, we're rational, right? So because of those emotions, we want to make sure that we grab, that we leech onto those emotions. So they make the buy. Um, quality and durability, like something that depend on the product, again, you should focus on also on quality and dur durability. So for example, one key thing for this product, that's why it's so important for you, for you to do that analysis, is that people didn't like the fragrances. So they didn't want any smells for this type of, uh, of lotion. So we put right here in bold letters with an icon. We emphasize, hey, no fragrances, okay? Um, so for example, right here, make sure that you're breaking, breaking patterns. This is very important, especially for your hero image. This is why it's not just like, oh, let me just take one background image and let me just put it out there and see what happens. Guys, I was talking to a client, to, to a potential client. We haven't closed actually yet. He sells, I can say, but he sells something and he sells more than $3 million a month. He started selling in 2015. And the last time he updated his listing was like two years ago. I was like, what are you doing? Why, why haven't you uploaded? Your, like, come on, man. Like, you, you're making $3 million a month and you can't spend at least 30 grand on some images. Like, you're losing a bunch of money, just a bunch of money. So he's like, yeah, but like the traffic's there. I'm like, it's not about the traffic. It's about how many people you can get from that traffic and how many, how, how much money you're leaving on the table for your competitor to come and grab it from you. So make sure that you're giving the potential buyer, okay, the person who's seeing your, your, your ads, feeling that they need your product instead of your competitors based on quality, based on information, based on whatever, but you want to get a, as much amount of clicks as possible. But he's like, but if I just increase my BBC, I'll get more sales. Okay. Yes, obviously. But wouldn't you want to get, I don't know, 10% uh, of, a, of a million instead of getting 5% of the, of the million that you're spending right now? He's like, obviously. Then that's the way you do it. 
by doing by getting some marketing. So having a plan is very important. Make sure that you're breaking the pattern. So type the main keyword of your product, okay? Identify a pattern. So these are the competition, as you can see. Well, if you're listening to this, um, we are looking at stone bath mat, okay? And a lot of the hero images that we're looking at is the hero image with the box in the background. So you're like, okay, if I come in with a red box, I might stand out. Yeah, but is it going to be effective? Because this is something for, wh why would somebody buy this? We have to understand why would somebody buy this? Yes, they buy it because it drives their feet or it doesn't wet their floor. But most importantly, because it looks fashionable and it's eco-friendly and all these other things, right? So most likely, the majority of people who buy this is probably a female gender. Right? And just in case, full disclosure, I'm not trying to be sexist here or try and put anybody in the box. It's just who's buying the product, okay? So what do we do? We add some feet. Boom. That's it. Like that's it. <laughs> it's logical. So people are stepping on this to dry their feet. Okay. Then we're like, okay, let's just add some feet. <laughs> like literally. But this is very important. We hired a model. It's not Photoshop. We make sure it's the right type of feet, right type of color of, of the of the um, nail polish, um, the different angles. So these all these angles are are made on purpose, like stiletto heels. So if you go like deep into the subconscious. I, can't, I, I mean, I think so. That's what my team said. Um, stiletto heels are very important for girls. It's a sign of fashion. It's a sign of, of, of looking good. It's a sign of, of feeling nice for them. So that's why the left image is like in reference for that. And then the one is like making a post as well. On top of that, one thing that was very important that people were asking is how fast does it dry? Or oh, it just stay there wet the whole day? So we actually put a graphic already. Hey, Five seconds, it's going to be wet. And then 10 seconds, it's going to be a little bit drier. In 15 seconds, you'll barely see that, it's, that somebody stepped on that, right? So we're trying to tell the story as much as possible. That's how you break the patterns. This is not easy. It takes a lot of creativity, honestly. That's where you should have somebody that's going to give you this. Make sure, even if you don't work with me, if you work with somebody else, make sure that they have a content proposal before you work with them and you have the idea written down you have a plan if you do not have a plan just like in life you're planning to fail i'll repeat that for the people in the back if you do not have a plan you're planning to fail okay yep yeah i like that so so basically search for your top keyword look at your competitors and see what they're doing and try to insert something that is going to be unique and different from what everybody else is doing but is also Rep a part of the brand, a part of what people are looking for. Like you said, not a red box or something like that. Some some products that might work well, a red box. Um, maybe if you're, you got something for men or some, maybe something in fishing or something like that, it might work. Sports. Sports, yes. Most likely because when people are looking for something for sports, they're looking like competition, endurance. It's, it's not like a send moment unless it's a specific type of sport. But let's just say, I don't know, um, football, right? So football tends to be a little bit, you know, like contact sport. So red could work there. Um, fishing as well because you want to attract bait and stuff. So could work. Um, but for this type of product, uh, definitely something that, that uh, sends out. And it's, it's in tune with, with what people want to use this for. It's not just to dry the, their, their feet or not make a mess in the bathroom. Stylish. Right, stylish, most likely. Um, another thing that people might tell me, like, oh, Rafa, but uh, this goes up against TOS. Yes, you're, you're right. It does go against TOS. That's why we made a, another one right here to the right that says two colors available just in case. Uh, or, hey, there's a lot of people who don't play by the rules. Maybe don't break the rules because you, you might get banned, but try to try things out and see what happens. The worst thing they can do is tell you like, hey, remove that image. And you already have one in the back pocket. Like, okay, I'll remove this image, whatever. Let me go back to, to um, I'll remove this image. I'll just add this one for a bit and see what happens. We're trying to figure something out here. You know, there's a lot of ways. To By the way, Raphael, it, it'll probably give you nightmares, but have you had a chance to look at Amazon Hall yet? Their low cost store that they just released? Yes. Um, I haven't looked into it. I know that this is the competition against uh, their Timu because Timu just came guns blazing and all this. I do believe that, um, and I, I want to say as far away from politics as possible. Honestly, if you're listening to this, I just want to help you guys make more money to drive more traffic. But 
um, because of most likely the ta it's not being in place. The due date even hasn't taken possession of power yet. But maybe because of these new norms, um, things will change. Uh, we might see a, a you know a, a higher pricing in some things, but uh, in the long term, because if we drive more factories to open, more manufacturing to open in the U.S., that could actually help us. Um, but for the whole thing is because obviously American companies are being are being hurt by by just like these low prices that nobody can compete here in the U.S. But yes, I have looked at it. Um, I think it's hey, dude. Honestly, Amazon's a company, and just like me, if my competition comes and says something and does something, I'm gonna try to do something that competes against them. That's why this is the best country in the world because we have capitalism society. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I agree 100% with all that, but uh, I bring it up because I, I got to imagine a lot of those main images give you heartburn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're so horrible. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but <laughs> yes. But at some point, it's got to be so competitive that they're going to need to optimize because if somebody does something better than them, people just start raising the bar, you know? Um, so it's, it's okay. It's, it's just part of the game. Um, I like it. I like the competition, honestly. Um, all right. So hero images, make sure that you use different ratios for hero images. Remember that 40% of the buying power of Amazon comes through mobile and more than 70%. That's a lot. That's a big number. 70% of the traffic comes through mobile. Why? Because this is literally our third arm. Like we will not leave anywhere without this device. So make sure they're using different type of image ratios okay now you're you are having people use four or five images as their main image a four or five ratio instead of square a rectangle and that will that will work properly on mobile mm -hmm. okay interesting i did not know that actually you can upload um on for example um premium plus content the beauty about pre one of the beauties about premium plus content why i love it so much is because you can upload actually requires you to upload two versions of the a plus content one made tailored for desktop devices and one tailored for mobile devices so for the mobile devices the way we distribute the information has to be different than the way we distribute the information we tell the story on the desktop devices okay so be sure that you're making make sure that dude, if you're making if you're making more than 15k a month in your in your listings like you should already have a premium plus content by now everybody has a premium plus content so that's that's where you're using the the rectangle images is in like the a plus and stuff not the main image right we, we can use the hero image as well in the main image okay all right interesting i'll have to check them out there's actually a hack i forgot um i forgot who who, who showed me this hack but it's not a hack it's like a trick yeah sure go hacker trick uh it's uh for a specific type of, of images, you can actually have like the image being animated. Um, I, I, I have to, I, I don't have it here, but if anybody wants to sh for me to show it, just like reach out to Todd and uh, we'll have a follow up on this. Make sure you also have badges if possible. If you have small business, make sure you have that badge. Um, if you have different colors, make sure you have that as well. Um, there's a lot of things you can be doing. Uh, okay, product description versus premium plus content. Obviously, we all know that before Amazon, um, had something called product description, which is where the A-plus content was. And now the premium A-plus content has taken over. Cool. Um, this is not because Amazon execs or people at Amazon are just like sitting back and just like twiddling their fingers. Like, what should we do to make sellers' life you know, more complicated? It's not that. They're looking at ways that buyers are more incentivized to spend more money on the platform. And because people loved going to the stores and looking at the product and trying to touch the product, et cetera, now they like to stay more at home or they, it's easier for them to buy online instead of going to the store because it saves them time. Again, everybody's trying to do everything fast. Amazon wants to give away to give more value. So they implemented premium plus content just for you to, to be aware of. Premium plus content before was actually an invite only program and you have to pay between 200 to 500 thousand dollars to be able to get access to this now it's completely for free and you can say you got some people are gonna say oh but like you need to have five variations of the listing to be able to uh, unlock it 
we have a little hack. You can go check our YouTube channel, or uh, we'll send to Todd, and Todd will distribute it, whatever you want. But you can now get it for free, basically. Yeah, those people who paid five hundred thousand dollars can't be too happy about that. So I, I only yeah, that, that would suck. Uh, no, but they, they surely made their they made their money back. I'm pretty sure. Um, the I only saw it three times. I saw it with Samsung. I saw it with Duracell. And I think it was Bose, the speaker. Um, yeah, I only saw it with big brands, only with big, big brands. That reminds me of uh, one time down in Miami, I went to the, the 10X conference just to, to check it out. And in the conference, Grant Cardone offered his uh, course for $99 or $97 or something like that. The guy sitting next to me, he's like, I just paid $2,000 for that. <laughs> like, oh man, that sucks. That sucks to be you, brother. <laughs> yes, for sure. Now it's free, guys. You have to pay 200 grand to, to be able to get this. Uh, this is a type of, of uh, samples of premium plus content. You have so benefits of premium plus content. It grabs shoppers' attention, okay? It improves conversion rates boost SEO indirectly, and it's easier to skim and tell the story better. And uh, one thing that I think is important here, and I, I've talked to a guest earlier uh, in a previous episode, is that, and you guys are doing it here, you're, you're 100% using the A-plus content for selling. You know, you're not adding in, you know, fluff pieces like about the uh, the brand or telling stories and things like that. It's just 100% uh, selling the product. So it's going to depend on the type of product and the type of buyer, right? So if it's a, if it's a product that requires a higher level of trust because it's something intimate, let's just say, uh, okay, let's use you as an example, Todd. You have a, you have a, a, a new little human at home, right? So... Would you say you care for the for the little human? Of course. Yep, definitely. Love your life. So when you make a buy, most likely because you love that so much, you want to make sure that that has the most care as possible. So you're more even like, oh man, I want to see more about this. So if I have an added value that, you know what? I developed this because I went through this, this, and this, and this. And because of this, I know what's going to happen. So I developed this product that's going to be, um, I don't know, uh, organic and made from, brought from Antarctica and all these other stuff. So it's basically um, something that's going to be emotional connection to that to that product. So it's going to depend on the product. That's, that's definitely true. I have to say when shopping for stuff for our baby, I've never looked so closely at, you know, like, where is this company from? Who made this brand? Can I trust what they're making? And if I see that, oh, this was developed by a mom in Tennessee that has five kids, I'm like, okay, probably could trust that a little bit more than that one that's just from some name that I can't read in China, you know? Yes, 100%. And it's not about being, oh my God, you're, you're, you're this, this um, what do you call it? Um, being, being, whatever. It's not about that. It's about giving that sense of trust because you care about, did you, did you look at that amount of detail when you bought things for yourself, honestly? Occasionally, but not nearly as much. I'm a little weird like that. I, I like the research stuff, but yeah, definitely not as much as with the baby stuff. It's a diff it's definitely a different level, yeah. So it's gonna depend on the type of of product. Um, for this type of product that you're seeing, people care about it's that it's gonna last long and how much power it outputs and that what it works with. So it's they're not gonna care if it's made in China, if it's made in Vietnam, it's made, like they don't really care about that much. If it was made in the U.S., that obviously that's a, a that's a, a marketing point that we can you, we can dial in. But eh, it's not like it's something that like, consumable that. If it's made in the U.S., obviously you're gonna be like, "Oh my God, okay." It's like a buying a, a bag, uh, I don't know, a purse, and the purse is made in, let's use my home country, Venezuela, or it's made in Italy. Obviously, somebody's gonna go for Italian leather, Duh, right? So yeah, it depends on the product, I would say. Okay, so um, SE, um, Premier Plus does affect um, SEO indirectly through all keywords, for example. Um, because and also because of conversion rates, the more you sell on Amazon, obviously the, the better Amazon is going to treat you. Why? Well, because Amazon likes making money. So if me and Todd are selling the same product, we're bringing the same keywords. He gets 100 clicks and I get 100 clicks. He gets 50 sales, I get 10 sales. Who do you think Amazon is going to prefer? 
obviously Todd, right? So make sure that it's always the more you, the more value you give to a customer, and the more they buy. Obviously, Amazon's gonna buy, uh, treat you better. Okay. Okay. How to create endless content is very easy. Um, so before you, you start thinking of A plus content, remember that premium plus content is free. It increases conversions rate but more than basic A plus content, and it is time sensitive promotion. It used to be paid. I don't think they're going to take it away, but just in case they have it open right now, make sure that you use also branding elements. If you see, you, you want to tell a story aesthetically as possible. By the way, everything that I've, I've shown so far, except the icons, obviously, but everything I show so far, it's created by us, right? Everything you see, we uh, looked for the dog. We looked for the little kitten. Uh, we put the kitten inside, etc. Everything, we put the model with the dog in here. Everything you see has been uh, created by us. We took the model to the to a, a, a nearby park, and we put the model inside like a camping tent. So everything, we got the kid, everything. Everything we see is created by us. It was made for Valentine's, and they had to be like flirting with each other and stuff. So it was like kind of weird and kind of at the same time. Um, so make sure that you, for this, um, as you can see, we're, we're using a lot of branding elements, and we're trying to make everything cohesive because it looks better. And the better it looks, the better people are going to perceive it. It's like going to a store. Imagine that you're going to, I don't know, um, let's say um, Louis Vuitton. You're going to a Louis Vuitton store, and something just is just off. You'll be like, what's going on here? You'll, you'll feel something different. So make sure you're being cohesive. You Make sure you're, being, you're staying within the trend of your product, okay? We got, oh, man, we got 43 minutes. Let's go. Um, so to unlock the premium plus content, um, you can just go upload different variations of the, um, of, of the same product. A plus content and it'll, you'll be able to unlock it. Okay. Yep. Yeah. That's a good tip. Just to upload four different versions just to get it unlocked for the pre premium. And uh, just so everybody knows what's the, what's the main differences between the premium and the, the basic. Oh man. Oof. Uh, I can, I can stay here and now we're talking about that. I would say the most important one for me, for me um, is right now actually no there's there's gonna be two recently so um you know the amazon okay side note um i also released some science papers not too long ago and a lot of people have been dissecting it trying to understand how rough is and cosmos works and all these things and because of that because of that new change of how amazon is trying to present the products to the potential buyers and the way the the algorithm now works the more people interact and the more people time people spend on your listing is going to influence how you also rank. So one of the key points, um, and so it's like Google basically, meaning that if your webpage gets clicked upon a lot, but people stay there five seconds and they get out, that's called a bounce. If a lot of people are bouncing off of your webpage on Google, you got to start de-ranking. Why? Because you're taking space of something that's more valuable than you, okay? And you're not giving enough value. So Google's gonna say, okay, well, if this person's getting all these clicks and nobody's getting doing anything with this, I'm just giving them a bad service. Get out of here, okay? Just Amazon's are the same way now. So basically, if people are getting to your listing and they're getting out, you're, you're, you're literally wasting somebody's time. They don't want that. They want people to buy. <laughs> that's how they make money. They make money out of clicks, out of buy, out of everything, okay? So that interaction, super important that I, I would say one of the things one of the main things is the modules that let people interact q a carousel um uh hotspots uh the video anything that's interacting clicking that's good that's good for you because people are trying to learn more that's one thing i mean i would say that's the number one and the second one would be the possibility oh man there's more <laughs> the, i would say the second one is um is a possibility of um, being able to customize the ratio and, and the way you tell the story on desktop and on mobile. And the third one is the way that you can change, upload different type of languages. But I mean that that's a whole other a whole other thing. Um, but yeah, I think I think I think, uh, yeah, I think it's top two. Okay, so images. Um, if images, this is a cute little quote uh, we made. So you know how the quote goes like uh, a photo um, says more than a thousand words, right? Well, if a photo says more than a thousand words. A second of a video usually averagely has 24 frames, meaning images per second. So it tells way more stories, videos, right? So there's different type of videos, and depending on your goal, okay, you should 
target that type of video. So you got listing videos. These are some of the few. There are so, so many more videos. So make sure that depending on the, um, depending on what you're doing or what your goal is, you're doing a different type of video. So for example, right here in this chart, if you're listening, we have a listing video. We have a premier A plus content video, sponsor ads video or PPC video. We got an Amazon post video. We got an Amazon inspire and we got UGC videos. Okay. Let's go one by one really quick. So we figure this out. Let's go again. Listing videos. Listing videos are designed to sell. People are already in your listing. Okay. They want to be entertained, but they want to find out more about the product. Okay. So a listing videos is a video that tells a story more effectively, more deeply, and maybe something technical. Maybe it's, um, I don't know, uh, baby rash. Where's the ingredients coming from? Right? Maybe that's important for top the ingredients. It's organic. It's an organic. It's a source in an in a, in a ethical way. It's not source in an ethical way. Um, are there any allergens there? So telling the story correctly, telling that those pieces of con those pieces, of answering those little questions that you can see through the comments in competitors, in yours, outside of Amazon, within Amazon. Okay. Premium plus content video is a video you can upload in the premium plus content. Here I will go even deeper, maybe into the brand. Maybe if it's a mom in the middle of, you know, I don't know, Kentucky that developed this product, tell a little bit about the mom. Like, hey, um, you know, I have five kids and I developed this, car, this, this product because all my kids have this rash because it's X, Y, and Z. And I found out that nobody has a solution and I contacted a, a doctor and we got in with the lab and now we made the scream and saved my babies and yada, yada, yada. So maybe tell the story more there, okay? You don't want to tell the story in the listing video unless it's something extremely important. Why? Because you'll make the video too long. People get bored. You know, unless it's a very, very well thought out video. People are not going to watch more than 30, 40 seconds. If you put a two minute video there, people are going to go like, oh my God, I'll watch 10 seconds. Uh, that's important to remember. Keep the, keep the videos short to the point and give them the information that they have to have to make the purchase. Another thing is that um, keep it KISS, you know, the, the acronym KISS. So yeah, let's keep it PG. So yeah, keep it, keep it KISS. Um, another thing is... Um, Sponsor ads videos or PPC videos. These are extremely important for me. This is the most important video because this is going to help you drive traffic. If you don't have any traffic, you won't get any conversions. That's that's logical. If nobody's going to click on your listing, nobody's going to buy, right? So make sure that you have uh, the sponsored ads um, videos. These need to be videos that break break any 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 break any gives gives them something to find out more. Maybe if it's a Maybe if it's a baby rash, have a baby crying and then the baby happy or have the baby doing something that people want to, when they look for that keyword, something resonates with them and they want to click on that. Okay. And then the Amazon post, Amazon inspiring UGC videos are basically just videos for brand awareness, meaning increasing brand awareness. Maybe you have, if it's, let's keep using the same trend as, as a baby. If it's a Amazon post, uh, maybe have a little baby running, you know, um, and runs to the to the lotion or maybe um the baby with the whole lotion all over the place and then you have a tagline that says so good that he doesn't want to keep off her. i don't know something something increases that brand awareness something that's that's a little bit comical a little bit funny uh people want to find out more about it etc also these videos you can also, um, cross promote them in other marketing social networks okay um Another video that I've been recently doing is the crowdfunding commercials. Uh, these crowdfunding commercials are super good. Um, maybe you're not at the state ship, but maybe you are. So if you do have a crowdfunding commercial, make sure that you're looking at the avatar who's going to potentially invest in this. Understand the value they seek. It's very important. Be entertaining. People like to be entertained. Create a sense of FOMO, fear of missing out. And make sure that you're helping because people are there to help other people. So if you incentivize that, that feeling of help, it's going to help you a lot. I want to touch a little bit more on sponsored ads videos. The reason is because these are so, so important, at least to get started. And we developed something called the Marvel Technique, um, which is basically, we didn't develop it. We just conned this name. <laughs> we stole this name from Marvel. <laughs> Don't sue us, Marvel. Um, but it's basically just the steps on creating a, what we believe is going to be an effective sponsored ads video. Very simple. So this is, oh, it's not playing. I don't know why it's not playing. Ah, okay, well, these are four components. You want to grab attention. You want to solve a problem, you want to showcase the benefits, and you want to showcase the brand, create that brand awareness. So basically, okay, attention span. The average attention span is three seconds. You need to catch your attention fast. 
okay? After that, if they keep seeing your video, you need to show the problem automatically so people feel connected to it. And then solve it with the benefits, okay? So you, te you tell them, stop, watch. You're having this problem? With these benefits, you'll fix your problem. And why? Because it's the brand X, Y, and Z. Very simple, yet it's a bit tricky to, to, to execute. You need to have creativity. So for example, the first thing you see is a piece of meat just falling on top of the, of the, of the board. And then you see some vegetables. Why the piece of meat? Because this a specific board, because of the, of the sides, is designed for meat. Okay? That was the main keyword, designed for meat. If it was only for veggie or fish, we would use another type of food. But the first thing you see is a piece of meat just landing on top of the board. You're like, what? So that's the idea. Be disruptive. All right? Focus on customers. Not your brand. Very important. Uh, I don't know why this is not loaded. Apologies. And that's about it, guys, uh, for now. We have way more to say, but it's been 53 minutes already. Um, Todd has a baby to, get, to go to. Um, so, yeah. Thank you for listening. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of really good information um, that... Yeah, like you said, we could spend hours diving into each one of those. Um, but, you know, I think the key takeaway is just to, to make sure you're optimizing your listings and the image, the images, right, is where it's really at. Images and video. Everybody's visual now. Nobody's looking at your bullets. Nobody's looking at your description. Um, they might be glancing at your title before they click over, but otherwise they're flipping through those images and watching the video. And if those aren't on point, they're going to bounce and, and go to your competitor. You're completely right on that. Um, it's, it's very, very seldomly that people are going to read something unless you're spending a thousand dollars. You want to have more information, but unless you don't spend a thousand dollars, it's got to be very, 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 very unlikely somebody reads those bullet points, like extremely unlikely, unless they really like your product and then they want to find out more. Yeah, yeah it's, just, it's all about the, the search engine optimization with the bullets and the title more than anything because 99.9% .9 of the time, nobody's probably looking at them. And even on mobile, if you look on mobile, the bullet points are way down at the bottom of the page now. Yep, yep, yep. Because Amazon understands that people don't just don't read them. They don't. They, they. It's. Uh, I wouldn't say they didn't care, but it's. It's very hard for them to care. Let's just say it that way. Yeah, of course. Like you said, it depends on the product. If you're buying maybe a one or two thousand dollar kayak or something like that, you might want to read some of the details. But even with that, majority of what they actually need to know should be in those images in the video. A hundred percent, especially at that price point. Actually, um. We, I, I left the QR code just in case you're listening. Uh, if you need, I remember I, I met Todd, uh, I, I would say a year, two years ago, Todd, um, at, in, in Tampa. Yeah, in Tampa. And I forgot his name. Um, he, he, I, think, I think I forgot his name. He sold something for kidney stones. Peter, Peter, Peter. Peter, remember, remember when Peter, um, he was saying, like, I'm having a very hard time selling this um, kidney stone um, uh, pills because it helps you to solve the stones your kidney but i can't show i can i can't state that on anywhere i was like well why don't you grab a stone you grab, literally a stone you grab the bottle and you look at the stone you throw the stone away you put the thing in front of the audience you're like oh my god that's so that's so smart so if you need advice like that that advice was free actually i don't know if you did it or not but if you need some advice or anything you need from us book a call with us i'll be more than happy to get a 15 minute 20 minute call and literally just dissect your list and give you free advice you don't have to work with me because I know if I help you, at some points, we're going to work with each other. So one hand watches the other hand. Yeah. And, and for those listening, you got uh, your emails, hello at shareitstudio.com, shareitstudio.com for the website. Looks like you're also on YouTube and Instagram. So you can check you guys out there as well. Um, but yeah, Raphael, this has been great. I appreciate it. No worries, brother. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. I hope your audience in your school um, your, your school students uh, find this useful. And if there's anything I can do for you guys, actually, if you come from Todd, we'll give you a special discount as well. Uh, we just launched a new uh, a new company also called Spirit. And you actually get an extra discount uh, with Todd for that for, uh, for that agency called Spirit, which is uh, to start off. Um, wow, somebody just sneezed here. Um, so, so yeah, so yeah, come in. We'll try to help you as best as we can. Yeah, absolutely. There you go. So just tell them Todd sent you and we'll get you an extra discount on your designs and photos and videos and all that stuff as well. Yes, yes, yes. We should actually do a giveaway. We should talk about that. 
we should give the giveaway to somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about it. We'll figure something out, put it in the show notes. Yes. All right. All right. Good talking to you, Raphael. You have a great one. Hey, man. Bye. See you. Bye-bye. This has been another episode of the Amazon Seller School Podcast. Thanks for listening, fellow Amazon seller. And always remember, success is yours if you take it.